Well, here we are, and I know you're thinking, dang, that dude's young. Oh, <laughs> well, no, I'm from Florida. <laughs> you could never tell, could you? Yeah, I got in here yesterday. I love Florida. It's where old people go to die, then don't. <laughs> and you just clog up everything. Yeah, there's Rebecca over here. So you didn't know I knew your name, did you? I have this ESPN thing going here. Let me ask you, young lady, are you a nice young lady? Yeah. Will you be honest with me? Yeah. Does it make you mad when an old person gets in front of you and slows down on the highway? Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, Rebecca, let me help you out. You see all these old people around you? We do that on purpose. <laughs> We don't care. You get out there on the highway and I'll slow it down. I'll see you coming, I'll slow it down to 55. And if you move that left-hand lane, I'll move over to that left-hand lane. You go back to that right-hand lane, I'll move over to that right-hand lane. And if you get next to me, I'll race you all the way to Las Vegas. I don't care. I got nothing to do before early bird bingo. That's how I roll. Anybody know what that means? It looks like it got my fingers cut off in woodshop. <laughs> yeah, I love being a comedian, just so you know. I started comedy at the age of 61 because I didn't want a real job anymore. And now here I am, I get to do a lot of traveling. I was in London, England recently. Big news over there was rock star Rod Stewart. Get this, he's going to be allowed in the delivery room to watch the birth of his next wife. <laughs> I just report it. <laughs> yeah. I'm old, and I'm old to the point that now I don't have a lot of, uh, uh, I don't care anymore is what I'm trying to say. Uh, if I see something in public and I don't like it, I'm gonna say something, and I, I just the way I am. I uh, grew up with a family that was very loving, and my father loved me to death, but he made me behave. So when I see somebody in public with a kid that's not behaving, I don't like it. And now I'll go say something. I was in Atlanta, Georgia recently at a mall and I'm sitting in one of those padded chairs around the big water fountain in the middle, you know, like daycare for husbands. <laughs> and I'm watching this lady argue with her five or six year old son. He wants to go to some toy store, she's ready to go home. We've all seen him, so he's decided to pitch the fit. Sitting on the ground, screaming at the top of his voice, snot bubbles coming out of his nose. And I tried to ignore it, but it interrupted my nap. <laughs> so I go, I said, ma'am, you need to spank that kid's butt. And she goes, well, cause those Southern Bells in Atlanta, Georgia, they have a button they push when they talk. Well, well, they do, well, they do, they do, well. You get it at Victoria's Secret. It's, you know, push it. Well, she goes, well, I read a book once. <laughs> I bet you did. She goes, I read a book once and it said, you're not supposed to lay your hand on your child. I get it, sweetheart. Hit him with the book. <laughs> oh, I could never do that. Hand me the book.